Hello! Welcome back to Mosh Pit Reactions, everybody. This time, <laughs> today, we have... Uh, Be more in frame. This time, today, <laughs> we have um, brand new Fame on Fire. Uh, would you call it an album? Would you call it an Oh, AP? we're doing the whole album. Okay. So, we have an album reaction, because why the fuck not? Uh, so, first up, No Tomorrow. Um, the album is really cool. It's called The Death Card. This song and is Jack. technically the title song of the album, uh, but it's in parentheses. So, um, I... Oh! I'm... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so, I have heard a lot of this album uh, just because they started really bringing stuff out when I wasn't doing reactions at the moment because of me being away. Um, but uh, they decided while I was in Boston to release the album. So, I've been just majorly enjoying it so far. So, this is mainly going to be a Jeremy's first time hearing. Except for one song? All three of those. Oh, you've heard all three? Oh, okay, okay. Um, so except for all three. Uh, or except for three. <laughs> I don't know why I said all three. Um, but uh, they were the singles that they released before the releasing the album. And yeah, so I'm excited to show Jeremy this one. Uh, I think he will really enjoy it, especially because he was actually more of the Fame on Fire fan than I was, and now I am in love with this band because of this album. So I'm excited, Jeremy's excited, and without further ado, as always, open up this pit. Are you ready? Lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> we say nonsense on this channel. <laughs> I got that stuck in my head now, god damn it. Just, just that. <laughs> it's like the Halo theme song. Life came with no promises. Death called and it's gone for me. So scared that it wouldn't last. This fear left you nothing I'm falling apart now too many times And all that left me was bitter I feel resentment holding me back All ties are severed I feel the blood flow But my heart stays still Not tomorrow Like a poison pill The death cuts And this is the end He's dressed in all black He said I'm following a hollow wrong path Fixating on your words Believing in a curse I listen to you now I can't get much worse I'm falling apart now This 
turn into a whale. <laughs> So, since I've heard this song before and you have not, balls. <laughs> um, no. So, in all honesty, I gotta say, like, I really agree with Brayden. Um, sure, I knew a lot more Fame on Fire than he did. However, I kind of I found them when they were doing covers. Yeah. And um, they didn't really have much original stuff. That I'm aware of, at least. I could be wrong on that. M most of their stuff were covers. Yeah. They, they were definitely a cover band. Yeah, they were, yeah. Which, like, they were they were good. Hello. Um, Yeah, true, yeah. That was my like, favorite one. They were, they were good. Don't get me wrong, they were. They were good. But I like them a lot more with their original stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what's the one? What the fuck was it called? Headspace. Uh, with Pale Stacy, I thought that was a cover. Oh, maybe I don't know. I have no idea. Oh no, it, it probably is. I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, actually, yeah, just fact check that. I think when they're more original, Brian just lets himself go, and I like to hear that because I think he's got a lot of talent, and like I think he showed it here, like. I think he's worked on his screams a lot too, and uh, they just sound a lot better. And allowing him to actually have that, like that power, and uh, have the reins for a little bit is pretty nice. I think that is original. Oh, it is. Yep. Yeah. Well, there we go then. Headspace. Yep. I like Headspace, but uh, from what I've heard on on this album so far, I love it. <clears throat> Like, I love it. Um, I also love his voice so much more. So Oh, yeah. No, he's definitely worked on it. Listening back to, like, Hello and stuff, you can definitely tell there was a lot that he did to make his voice go there. Mm -hmm. it, it was definitely very highly edited. Um, I, know, I, I know it's, like, original voice, but, like, the, to get to some of the spots, it doesn't seem like it was actually what was going on and stuff. But this sounds 110% like original. Like, it is his voice. There is still yeah. the pitch shifting and all that kind of stuff. Pitch correct. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't do a lot with auto tune. But, um, like, it, it sounds like him. It doesn't sound like there was a lot of altering to his voice. Um, back then, there definitely was. Oh, 100%. And stuff. But this sounds organic and that's what i love the most about his voice in this album um i also just love the take on the heaviness because they're not this heavy and like even though that this is not even that heavy like the screams and like a bit of the breakdown that the they instrumentals can do, are pretty dope too yeah like it, it it's just really good also their lyrics their lyrics are he he wrote all these songs based off of like just how he feels about things that have happened to him in life like it, it is a organic album because it's not just like they have no ghost rider they have no like anything like that it's all just from his head he is the songwriter for the band and like that's one thing that i love the most about these guys and like i honestly did not think I would actually really get into Fame on Fire, but this album has totally, completely spun me around on that. Well, I actually got into them because of, um... Oh, what song was it? Why am I blanking on it? I used to play it all the fucking time. I think I know which one you're actually talking about. Well, they do, ro they do a song called Roxanne, which Alex loved. Mm-hmm. And whenever he'd pick me up to take me to work, we'd just blare that song. Yeah. There's also uh, Blinding Lights mm. that they do. Fucking amazing cover, too. Yeah. Like, uh, Hello Hello was the first song I have ever heard from them. And, of course, like, 
What is that song? It is fairly hard for bands, like especially cover bands, to cover female vocalists. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, especially if it's a male vocalist that's doing the cover, and I think that's just where Fame on Fire went wrong with that song. Was just trying to have the same kind of notes and stuff, just maybe more of an octave down because it is a male vocalist compared to a female vocalist and stuff. And also Adele is also just really good in that sense. Like I actually can respect her on her voice. I just, I just don't like her music, <laughs> but, um, no, th- this band completely won me. So I, I, I do have a top five on like the, I think it's her eyes. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah. Rise. Uh, her eyes. Her eyes. Oh, okay, because yeah, they, they, I think, I think they is. did a cover of a uh, uh, Rise, which is what State of Mind did as well, and I really enjoy those versions. Um, but uh, yeah, like top five right now, uh, Dayseekers on top, of course. Yeah, uh, and then like it's Rain City Drive. Then if not for me, then these guys, and then. Oh my god. Silent Theory, I believe. Or Sleep Theory. Sleep Theory, not Silent Theory. Yeah, Sleep Token. Sleep Token? No. Th- this is for this genre of music. Oh my god, why can't this you just have a top five? Like every other. I have a top person. five bands in, like any like in the person. world. I do. I just also like doing it for sub genres. Fucking too. weirdo. I like doing it for sub genres. Have you. Uh, they've got a song too, Plastic Heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you've heard that one? Yeah. I was going to say, if you haven't, that is a good, like, Sad Boy Hour song See, right there. See, the, the thing is, like, e- even in Paper Crown with uh, Dark Divine, I did not really like his vocals in that song. Mm-hmm. And the next thing I hear is the first single from this album, and I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, I know that there was maybe, like, a year and a half difference between them, so, like, a lot of shit could happen, but, like... I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. No, a lot of people actually say that about him. Mm. Like, um, there's a lot of people that, for them, like, his vocals really make or break the song. It's Brian, right? Yeah, Brian Kunitz or Or something something like that. that. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But, like... But... In in this like like I said, this album so far, from what uh, I've heard... This whole album's... He's doing very well. Yeah. Like, I, I... I haven't heard... I'm impressed. I haven't heard all the album. Like, I've had it playing, but I've never actually, like, fully focused on it. Not like I did with this, uh, the fourth song, and then the singles. The rest yeah. the rest of them I technically just have in the background when I'm doing other things. Um, but, uh, so, technically there'll be, like, a first-time actual listen and analysis type thing. But, I have... I have the idea of what's going on with each one. So, um, I listened to it a lot in Boston. I'm sorry. I just I just had to play it. Um, if you want to hear how good he is now, though, just listen to one of those old songs and then listen to Suicide the Lovers. Yes. Like, that is a good, a good idea of how much he has, you know, like, grown mm-hmm. vocally. Yeah. I, I, I just I just want to know what he sounds like live. Like, I know one of the videos that we'll be doing, I think it's for Nightmare, if I'm correct. Uh, I will show you, like, the live, but it's, like, the official live kind of mm-hmm. thing. So, like, it's going to be the record, uh, like, studio recording over top of live, like, performances yeah. and stuff. But um, I want to know what he actually sounds like live, especially after listening to all this. Um I am very interested. But is that everything you want, sir? Yes, sir. Every time we start a first time on an album, we're always like the longest videos ever. Yes, sir. But if you enjoyed this video and our reaction to it, leave a like down below. If you're enjoying the content we are putting out, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever a video goes live. And suggest your songs down below if you have any. Or you can join the Mosh Pit Reactions Discord. There you can suggest your songs, give us video feedback, talk to Jeremy and I a little bit better. And also the awesome people we have in the server already. Don't forget to take Gander over the Mosh Pit Reactions Patreon. We would really appreciate it. We love you. Take care of yourselves. We can now wait to see you in the next video.